Geminis, welcome to your horoscope for June 20, um, 22. So with the planets, on the 5th of the month, we have Saturn going retrograde in your ninth house. This is when it goes retrograde, you know, the planet that doesn't really do what it, what it wants it to do. It's like um, when, Mar when Mercury goes retrograde, like the contracts and the communication doesn't go well. Um, Saturn is, is that problem, so maybe intense problems or, you know, it could also make things not go as well. This is going to be in ninth house. So ninth house affects travel and it also affects spirituality um, as well education too. On the 4th, we've got Mercury, which is going to go direct in your 12th. So um, this could be like China. Like, I feel like like could be bringing about Chinese whispers or like secrets or something may even come out or be exposed with that. Um, and then all of the month, you've got Jupiter and Mars in your 11th house. So this can be Jupiter's luck. Mars is um, like taking action. So this could be a good month to be social with friends, meeting up with them. You may get a bit of, um, or taking action, maybe you're saying you take action with your friends. Or well, it could bring about a bit of frustration or anger or arguments. But um, I feel that's to do with the Chinese whispers as well that could be going around. On the 14th, Mercury will go into your first house. So this is going to feel, make you feel more confident um, in yourself and capabilities. And then in, on the 25th, Venus goes into that first house. So you might feel a bit more love. And, you know, you might you, you might look at self, um, you know, what's going to make you happy. Um, you might be looking at hobbies or hobbies or studying something new it's about yourself and what you could, um, love, maybe self-love even. Or thinking about, you know, how to, um, you might know, financially, how am I going to get better? With, with, like, with everything that's going on. We'll look at the cards for you. Um, I do feel like it's a month uh, taking action, but listening to your guides or listening to Vanessa, your conscience or that little voice inside, I feel like pay attention, your intuition. Pay attention this month. I feel like action that you, well, take action that you need as well um, coming, coming in. And... And I also feel like, um, I don't know if like the, the eclipse, the thing about if the eclipse or the, or the full moon, the thing about the moon, the, the thing about the moon this month for you, um, could be bringing about things around the home, could be bringing about tra like transformation or change for you, but it's something to do with the moon cycle this month with your star sign. Um, you might feel like you're going a bit, a bit, crazy or be going down the rabbit hole um you might be wanting to escape or escape your home life escape family escape like reality even could be coming up with this as well um also got two i feel like also might have to spend some money on renovations this month too coming up around around the home and it's like everything's tips upside down, like you're not too sure, just keep budgets, you know, just keep track of spending a little bit. Um, and do you have complications coming up with your siblings? Like you might feel like you've got two siblings that are a bit like twiddle dee, twiddle dumb or as bad as each other. Um, but it's about knowing like, you know, are you the smarter one or do you, have you got everything worked out? There's something about those sort of kind of vibes coming in for this month for you. Let's look at your work. Feel like this month you're going to be quite intelligent you might have to um you might have to settle for something you didn't expect to but it might but it will turn out good in the end uh, or you could have like um certain expectations and the way you expect things to turn out it may be different in the end of the end of the month i also feel like um it's like you're like you're on a mission or you're trying to get things done and get things completed as well. We've got here relationships. Okay. Yeah. Okay, with relationships, look, you might get your wish. I feel like a wish is being granted, something you've been wishing for, you're wanting to happen. But I, I still think it's about... This month, a lot about intuition, using your your intuition to where you like as your guide. Um, I do feel like relationships, things could be blossoming around you, but it's also a wish, a wishes. I want to say also, but there's also um, here with relationships, even with children, like 
you might find a bit challenging even with I feel like it could be with kids a bit challenging this um this month where maybe they're scared or something and you're gonna have to try and like fight or take a bit of action or to help calm them down but there could be something or something scary like something it could be to your children or could be a relationship with a partner that maybe has a bit of a temper but I, I feel like there's something sort of fearful going on there I feel like I'm with someone young with this card um I've got here with friends yeah I feel like it's going to be a good month to go out with friends socialize have fun I feel like it could be good coming up for you for this month there Gemini's and I feel like also you need to have a bit of patience this month there there is justice coming but it's about taking patience and taking that right steps to get what you're trying to achieve I also feel like you're the only one that will be able to reach the outcome or the goals or what you're trying to achieve you're the only one that's going to be able to do it and you may even have to do it from you know by us like by yourself so you may not um even though you might want some help, but you might, might in this circumstance, might be the only one that can actually solve the mystery or fix the problem um, with, with this month that's coming up. Okay, let me just see what else I can get for you there, Geminis. Let's have a look. Um, Geminis, this month is a month for you to be strong and capable. It's like you're on a mission to do what you have to do. You're a very bright spark of a star sign. You're young and youthful. You know how to... Um, have a conversation with anyone and you know how to please people and you just go on your merry way this month is a being, going to be a month of being social but month of just being a little bit on guard for something that will come in to your life this month which is going to take you off guard but that intuition that you have will pull you through to the next month so be wise keep your intuition and listen to your intuition listen to the signs and pay attention to what's going on around you this month Gemini's okay um, I will leave it there. So I will be at the MBS at the end of May. Um, I am also available for readings. My radio show, um, which, will be on, which is on a Thursday night, A1R Radio at 11 p.m. New York time and 1 a.m. p.m. here in Sydney. So thank you for liking, sharing in your comments and I will see you for my horoscope for um, next month or my next video. So bye for now.